Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore the mysterious journey of energy changes. I'm Miss Ray, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. So how would you feel if you rode a bicycle fast for half an hour? I'd feel really tired and maybe a bit sweaty. Exactly. That's because your body is using energy to pedal the bike. Can you guess what kind of energy makes the bicycle move? Hmm, maybe leg energy. Close, it's actually called movement energy or kinetic energy. And when you're pedaling, your body is turning the energy from your food into this movement energy. Now think about when you're riding. What else do you feel besides tired? I feel warm, especially if it's sunny. That's right. Riding a bike also produces heat energy. So your body is changing energy from one form to another. Let's think about another example. Have you ever hit a drum? Yes, I love making noise with drums. When you hit the drum, you're using movement energy from your hand. What happens to the drum? It makes a sound. Exactly. The movement energy changes into sound energy. Isn't that cool? Now let's talk about something we use every day. Electricity. Do you know what electrical energy is? I think it's the energy that makes lights and TVs work. Spot on. And when we use electrical appliances like a fan, the electrical energy changes into movement energy to spin the blades. But there's more. What else do you hear when a fan is on? It makes a whirring sound. Exactly. Some of the movement energy changes into sound energy, which moves into the surrounding environment. Let's do a fun experiment. Imagine we have a desk lamp and a paper spiral. If we hold the spiral over the lamp, what do you think will happen? Maybe the spiral will move. Yes, the lamp gives off light and heat energy. The heat makes the air rise, causing the spiral to spin. Isn't that fascinating? Now, here's a tricky question. Why does it sometimes seem like energy is used up? Maybe because we can't see it anymore. Exactly, but energy isn't gone. It just changes form or moves to the environment. Like when a hot cup of tea cools down, the heat energy moves to the air around it. So, what did we learn about energy today? I learned that energy can change forms, like from movement to sound or heat, and it never disappears. That's right. Energy is always around us, just changing and moving. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious, and remember, there's always more to discover in science.